Hey, good evening guys. Uh, time for another video. Uh, I'm going to be changing my brake pads on my Indian Springfield uh, 2017 model, but it should be uh, the same for all the Thunderstroke uh, models. Um, probably even the Challenger. Uh, let me just um, show you the bike and show you what you're going to need to change the brake pads and uh, we'll get right into it. All right. All right, so here's my bike. I actually have it on, on a wheel chalk in the front, so it's upright. And I went ahead and uh, removed my exhaust. You don't need to do either of these. You can leave it on the side stand, you can leave the exhaust. Um, I removed the exhaust because I was doing something else and uh, kind of gives you easy access as well. But you don't need to remove it, okay? So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna start with the rear brake pad change first. So what you're gonna need is obviously a new set of brake pads. So I've got uh, EBC here. I think my current one's also EBC. The model number is FA196HH. These are double H centric brake pads, so these are, um, you know, quite good, but they might wear out fast. But uh, just to give you guys an indication, I've checked my brake pad where it's almost time to change it. I've got about 25,000 kilometers on it. So under normal riding conditions, these brake pads, these EBC brake pads, double eight center should last about 25,000 kilometers. So you need a new brake pad. Uh, you're gonna need a eight mm uh, hex bit. Um, some silicone lube. Don't use re regular lube, use silicone or brake specific lube, sorry. Um, and I'll show you where you're gonna put them. Uh, some brake cleaner um, to clean the brake disc and also the brake calipers and uh, some some wrenches and a torque wrench for tightening it up at the end. So what you're gonna do is for the rear brake pad there's only two bolts one here and one here both are 8 mm and so use your 8 mm bit to unscrew uh, unscrew the bolts and then you should be able to slide the uh, brake caliper uh, off of the brake disc. All right, so let me get that done. All right, so you can see I've removed the two 8mm uh, bolts and you can just slide the uh, brake caliper off the brake disc. Uh, you can see my brake pads, are, the old ones are pretty uh, worn out already and you can see the, the pistons have been pushed quite far out. Uh, so let's get these old brake pads out, do some cleaning and then put the new ones in. So to get these old brake pads out there's a retaining pin here um, and it's I believe it's an 8 mm uh, socket let me just make sure I got one here yep it's 8 mm socket and then just remove this retaining pin and you sh should be able to uh, pull the brake pads out uh, and there's also a kind of a spring loaded clip underneath the brake pad so just um, while you're taking it I just keep your hand here uh, otherwise it'll fly out as soon as you remove the retaining pin uh, along with the brake brake pad so just keep your hand here so it doesn't fly out you also want to um, pay attention to how it's fitted how the, the, the spring loaded clip is fitted um, the orientation and the way it is so you, when you put it back uh, you know, there's no confusion. So let me just get the retaining pin out and then I'll get back to it. All right, so I've loosened it uh, And you can as you take out the retaining pin, this is what it looks like the brake pads just fall out as you noticed uh, Let me just quickly show you this spring loaded clip here. You can see how dirty it is So we're gonna do all this cleaning. So just take a look at this clip Mine didn't fly out So but it, it should just come out this is what it looks like. So just keep keep a note as to how this goes. So it goes right here, and then the brake pads go on top of that. Okay, so now, if you look at these brake pads, these are my old ones. Probably still got a little bit left in them, but actually, probably not. I think it's time to throw these away. Okay, so get these out of the way. Uh, this clip, this retaining pin, as well as this, um, these pistons and the brake caliper. Uh, let's clean them up nicely with some uh, brake fluid, some brake cleaner, not brake fluid, sorry, brake cleaner. And uh, 
do that before you push these pistons in. So we're gonna have to push these pistons in. Uh, okay, let me just clean everything up first. So some brake cleaner and uh, probably wear gloves. <laughs> I, yeah, probably wear gloves. Let me put on some gloves. All right, so I've cleaned these as best as I could with some uh, brake cleaner. And I also cleaned these pistons as best I could with some brake cleaner. Um, and now, uh, these are the new brake pads. You can see how, how much thicker they are than the old ones. And um, if you fit them in as is, uh, they won't be able to go around the, go uh, on both sides of the brake disc because the calipers are pushed out way too far. So what we're gonna do is, this is gonna require a lot of elbow grease. You're gonna use your, uh, just your hands to push these calipers, sorry not calipers, the pistons in as much as you can. And you will have to do uh, both the pistons, push both of them, them at the same time, because if you push one in, uh, the other one will come out. Uh, so you're gonna have to use a lot of force uh, and, um, and push the pistons in. There's another trick, if it's really too hard, uh, you can put the old brake pads in and then um, press the brake pads so you have, it's, uh, it's less pressure but the same force, uh, right? And uh, you somehow manage to get the pistons in. So let me try doing that. All right, so I've managed to push the pistons in quite a bit. I think that should be more than enough to get the new brake, to make brake pads in and around the brake uh, disc. So now what we're gonna do is, Get your brake specific lube, and right, I got this one from Brembo. Uh, put a nice little dollop on the the non-friction part of the uh, brake pad. So uh, not not definitely not this part because this is what it, this is what touches the rotors, the brake disc. Put some uh, brake specific lube here, on here, as well as on the retaining pin. Um, you don't need to do all this, but it's it's good practice. So a little bit here, what'll help is because this is the this is the surface that makes contact with the pistons. The pistons are that's what's pushing against this. So putting some grease here will you know if there is some squeaky noise, it will, it will help protect that. It will help get rid of that. Okay, so grease this part, grease this part, grease the pin. Put the brake pad in uh, with uh, with this as well. Uh, you know, uh, remember you. Uh, you should have. You should know how to put this back because when you took it out, you should have paid attention. All right, let me get all this done and uh, I'll come back. Okay, so I've put the brake pads in along with that spring loader clip. I managed to get the retaining pin in as well, and uh, it's all held together. Now we just have to torque this retaining pin to 10 foot pounds, uh, and that's it. You're done with your brake pad change. Now you can fit it to the brake. Uh, the brake disc. Let me do that. And there we have it all done. So retaining pin right here torqued to 10 foot-pounds. The brake uh, caliper fasteners, uh, I've torqued them as well. 31 foot-pounds. Okay. Uh, and that's it. You're done. Just make sure obviously that the brake discs, sorry, the brake pads are on both or around the brake discs. Um, so that you know uh, the, the friction material is around the brake disc uh, you don't want to put uh, both uh, broke both brake pads on um, one side of the brake disc right so just make sure and that's it you're done uh, before you and let's move on to the front but before you do that just make sure to pump the brake rear brake pedal uh, a few times because it'll be quite loose now since we pushed the remember we pushed the pistons in um, so pump the brake pedal so the pistons come out again and then the brake pads hug the brake disc nicely. Okay, let's move to the front. All right, all right. Moving on to the front. Let's take out the uh, brake caliper cover first. For that, you're gonna need a 13 mm socket to take these two uh, bolts out. And then you need a um, 10 mm uh, wrench. There's a screw uh, bolt right here from behind you're gonna unscrew that and then the caliper cover will come out So let me just get that done and I'll show uh, I'll show you uh, how All right, so I've taken out these two bolts and I've taken out this the bolt from behind here So that's what it looks like this is the bolt the 10 mm that's behind here and then these two uh, nuts 
but we're using a 13mm socket. There are two washers here, so make sure not to lose them. Uh, the big caliper cover should just come out now, right? And uh, yeah, again, don't lose the washers. Two of them right here. So now that's the brake, uh, brake caliper now. Uh, there are only two bolts holding it together. I believe, let me just make sure. No, oh, too small. So, okay, let me just uh, find out what size they are and uh, well, we'll unscrew them, okay? Okay, so I've taken out these two bolts. That's what it looks like. Uh, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket. Uh, yeah, 17 millimeter deep socket and that's easy to take out. Now here comes the, the fun part, getting the brake caliper off the disc. Obviously the fender gets in the way so we're gonna have to uh, wiggle ourselves, uh, wiggle this caliper out using this little gap here. Let me try doing that. If I can't, I'll show you a trick. Okay, so I couldn't get the caliper out without, with, without taking out the fender so I'll show you a little trick you don't need to take out the fender but the fender is held together with three bolts one here one here and one here and an exact same three bolts on the other side on the left hand side of the motorcycle so six bolts in total right so take out the top two ones uh, use a six uh, millimeter hex bit and take out those two bolts loosen the bottom one here don't take it out just loosen it and do the exact same thing on the on the left hand side on the other side of the motorcycle so take out the top two bolts and just loosen this one don't take it out what this will help you what this will aid is the fender can now the fender can now rotate and it's it's rotating around this pivot this bolt so that's why you don't take this out with the fender rotated now this caliper should be easy to take out i can just do it with one hand perfect that's a little trick okay so now let's look at the brake pad. Yep, it's pretty worn out. So same thing as the rear one. Uh, it's held together with this retaining pin here. It looks like a five millimeter hex bit. I'll just verify that. And yeah, I think that's it. So let, let's, let's, uh, let's use a five millimeter hex bit to take this out. And then again, the brake pad should fall out from this from, uh, from from the bottom. And at the top again, there's this spring-loaded uh, clip here, so it'll fly out as soon as you take out the the retaining pin. So just keep your finger here so it doesn't fly out. Also, uh, pay attention to how it's uh, placed here, or how the orientation. So when you want to reassemble everything, uh, you know how it goes. Okay, so let me get this out. Okay, so I've taken out the retaining pin. There it is. It is a five millimeter hex bit that you're gonna need. And you see, I'm, I've got my thumb here holding the spring loader clip and I've got my fingers at the bottom to hold the brake pads in place. The moment I let go of my fingers at the bottom, the brake pads will fall out uh, because the retaining pin is no longer there. And then this clip should uh, come out as well. So just pay attention to how it's, uh, how it's placed, okay? So, Again, the same thing. Um, clean, clean the re clean the retaining pin. Clean this clip. And here's the other, the other brake pad. The two brake pads. Throw these away. Again, like just like the rear. Uh, clean the caliper, the pistons. Clean this uh, retaining pin as well as this with brake brake cleaner. So let me do that. Okay, so nice and clean, as clean as I could get them. The retaining pin, the spring loader clip, as well as the cal the pistons. Uh, now, exactly the same way as for the rear brake pad, put some silicone brake specific uh, grease on the back of the brake pads. So on the, on the metal surface, not on the friction surface, right here and here. And as well as on the retaining pin, put some brake specific grease here. And then put the brake pads in uh, put this uh, spring loader clip on top again the same way you took it out put the retaining pin in let me get that done okay all assembled I went ahead and torqued this to 10 foot pounds uh, the retaining pin so you can see the spring loader clip the retaining pin 
uh, and the brake pads all held together. And then uh, again, same like the, the, the rear brake pad, before you put the brake pads in, squeeze the pistons in with your fingers, use a lot of force, and uh, then put the brake pads and install all of this. That will, only then you'll be able to put the, the brake caliper onto the brake disc with the brake pads going around uh, on, on both sides of the, on both sides of the brake disc. So, yep, mine's done properly. This is torque to 10 foot-pounds and I'm going to just put these bolts in and torque them I believe to 35 foot-pounds so let me get that done okay we're all done I've torqued these two to 35 foot-pounds the right side front brake caliper has been installed uh, and we do the exact same brake pad change procedure for the left side because you remember there are two two brake discs in the front so on the left side there's another brake caliper replace the brake pads exact same process so do that on the left side, I'm not going to film that. Once you're done with that, then you can uh, rotate the fender, remember the fender, rotate the fender back, install these two bolts on, on this side as well as on the other side. Uh, and then you're going to torque these to 18 foot-pounds. And remember this one you loosen as well, so it could pivot, the fender could pivot. Uh, tighten don't forget to torque this to 18 foot pounds as well and the same on on the left hand side of the bike okay left hand side as well torque the fender bolts 18 foot pounds then you all that's left to do is install the caliper cover right uh, these go on here and uh, the nuts the two nuts with the two washers go here. I don't know the torque spec for this. I usually just um, tighten it with a with a with the socket. And then the same thing as the 10 mm bolt uh, at the back that we removed earlier. Install that as well. And uh, that's it. You're done with the brake pad change uh, for uh, for the Indian Thunderstroke models, front and and rear. And that's it guys, I uh, hope, hope you found this video useful, um, if you did, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel for um, motorcycle maintenance videos of my Indian Springfield, my Triumph Tiger 1200, and in future if I get, if I change bikes I will post videos for maintenance procedures for, for those bikes as well. Alright, just uh, shoot me. Shoot me, shoot me a comment um, to let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see. Um, and yeah, have a good day, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.